Ten years ago, Jacksonville, its mayor and sheriff were presented a strategy to end gun violence in our city. Our elected leaders didn't go for it. But Action News Jack's Paige Kelton has uncovered that same strategy is now at the heart of the sheriff's new plan to stop gun violence. She joins us live from the Action News Jack's newsroom. Paige, what's changed? John Sneaka, the answer to that is the people in charge. Operation Ceasefire was a bold, hands-on approach to gun violence. The city said no thanks. Tonight in an Action News Jacks exclusive, we're hearing from the man who has a plan to make our community safe. From the campus of New York's John Jay College of Criminal Justice, David Kennedy directs the National Network for Safe Communities. With the help of a CBS 60 Minutes crew, we sat down with Kennedy to ask point blank, why is there so much crime in Jacksonville? In every single place where there is a homicide or a gun violence problem, it is driven by small, different, identifiable groups of very high rate offenders. The effective partnerships, the effective approaches focus on those groups. Community figures, social service providers, law enforcement out in the community offering help, support, and a warning that no amount of violence will be tolerated. A boots on the ground approach Jacksonville didn't appear to be ready for. There were hearings, I presented all of that to the city, and at that point, the city said, Thank you very much, and nothing happened. And uh, this time, something is happening. I asked former city councilman Reggie Fullwood why the city didn't sign up for Kennedy's program back in 2006. He honestly couldn't remember, but he did say what we've been doing so far hasn't worked. I also reached out to former Sheriff John Rutherford and asked about his hesitations back then. He mentioned cost, but he did say that if Sheriff Mike Williams thinks it's a good idea now, it probably is. What is it about this particular program that interested you? Well, you know, we looked uh, around the country at a lot of different uh, strategies and initiatives that people were trying uh, to reduce violence in communities. And the first thing that caught my eye about this was the connection with the community and the fact that it's a community-wide effort every day. No longer called Operation Cease Fire, David Kennedy tells us his national network for safe communities helps cities hyper-focus on those committing the crimes and removing the stigma from those who don't. We have done these neighborhoods a tremendous disservice by saying these are bad places. They're not bad places. Treating that group with respect, they do not expect to be treated with respect. Kennedy tells us the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office will use techniques from across the country to create a local formula for crime prevention, a single message to be delivered by an entire community. Now, the sheriff tells me the roughly $300,000 cost will be covered using forfeiture money. The city council must approve that plan. A team from JSO will travel to New York at the end of April. Sheriff Williams says he hopes to have this initiative in full effect by this summer. In the newsroom, Paige Kelton, CBS 47 Action News, Jax. And earlier in this newscast, we saw that appeal from the family of Ada McClendon, 22 months old, gunned down in Jacksonville. People want solutions to this violence. Well, we hope it works. Mm -hmm. You can watch this exclusive on Action News Jack Sunday this weekend. It airs two times on CBS 47 and on Fox 30.